you had the day off. I do. I'm just uh, meeting someone. He who saves a single life, it is as if he has saved an entire world from Kester. My old mentor gave it to me when I uh, lost my first patient. Amazing doctor. Thought I'd take it down, didn't want to give me an impression. Hmm. You might suspect there's a bit of hero worship going on. You might. Um, anything from Jimmy? Sorry, no. Okay. You've got to stop worrying about him, Julia. Try and take your mind off it. Yeah. Uh, Lily, there's a young chap outside. I think he needs an appointment. Uh, I just clocked off. Well, it's a really nasty hand injury. It needs seeing, too. Okay. Should I have gone to accident and emergency? No, I don't think this classifies as an emergency. It was an accident, though. You've injured your little finger. You'll be fine. I trapped it in a car door. I wanted some mints from a newsagent. I got out of the car. As I was closing the door, I stood on an empty can of dandelion and burdock. I skidded. I put my hand out onto the car to stop myself from falling over. That's when I trapped it. Morgan, I'm a police surgeon and a forensic archaeologist. Yeah? So I know a little bit about injuries. Yeah? You didn't trap your hand in a door, did you? No. And judging from your attire, you weren't on your way to work when this happened. Are you trying to get out of being somewhere by any chance? How are you feeling, Mouse? Excited. What's the time? Oh, a while yet. There's time for a few words of wisdom from your old man. Mm. Supposed to be giving you away today. But I'm not giving you away. Not in here. You'll always be a forester. No matter what you change your name to. You'll always be my little girl. I'm man number one. And if anyone ever does anything to hurt you, you come and tell me. Yeah? Yeah. Good girl. Really appreciate you coming in, Kester. Kester. Oh. Thanks for coming. Uh. So tell me, uh, how's retirement? Well, you remember when you were a kid and the summers went on forever? Mm. It's the exact opposite of that. Uh, how's Jean? We divorced eight years ago. Right. I'd probably move on to the reason why you wanted me to come here. Yeah, of course. Um, I've recently become involved in a case. It's a young boy that I've just referred to St Phil's. He's been diagnosed with a very rare condition. What condition? Taslow's. It's incurable. Taslow's condition is without doubt treatable. It requires, above all else, second-to-second -second monitoring and a doctor with patience and compassion. Nonsense. It can't be done. Written by Kester Hall, 1986. <laughs> What exactly is it you want from me, Daniel? So it's just my hand, it's killing me. When does the service start? Three o'clock. Ten minutes, you could still make it. <laughs> Have you thought about what will happen if you don't go? You don't know the half of it. Well, be brave. Tell her how you're feeling. You never know, she might feel the same. You reckon? Maybe. Hey, you're right. I owe it to her, don't I? How am I supposed to drive with this on my hand? No. I thought you'd ask me here to write you a reference or something. He's a good kid. They always are. I'll buy you a nice bottle of single malt. No. Take you out for lunch? No. You know, I don't practice anymore. Please. We need you. No one knows Taslow's like you. There no. must be something I can do. Anything. 
Well, um, you got a car? Mm -hmm. Cheltenham Racecourse 430, Brave New Day. Joey O'Donnell's brought this horse all the way over from Ireland. It can't lose. I don't have any friends, Daniel, or family. I've made sure of that. But uh, what I do have is £20,000 and an inclination to triple that sum and up sticks to Spain. I want to go where the summers go on forever. What's that got to do with You get me to Cheltenham by 4.30 and I'll look at the boy. It's an hour and a half away. Well, we'd better get off then, hadn't we? Oh, come on! Oh, come on, we've not moved one inch in five minutes. Just try to stay calm. What shall I say when I get there? It's really not my place to get involved. Oh, what's this Shouldn't clown be... doing? Come on, move, Grandad! Don't beep my horn. Don't ever beep my horn. Uh, I'm sorry, but there's four minutes left and the world is still spinning rapidly on its axis. Try not to panic. We'll be on our way before you know it. How about some music? Absolute nightmare. Three or four accidents reported in the whole city at a complete standstill. Congestion all the way... That's all we need. We're never going to get there at this rate. Guess I can ask you a question. She walked out on me and took the girls with her. At some point between Christmas Day and New Year's Day, I can't tell you the exact date, because I was sozzled. The reason she gave in the divorce papers was excessive drinking, gambling, adultery and bad personal hygiene. I contested the latter on principle. Actually, I was going to ask you uh, why you didn't just go to the bookies and put the bed on yourself. What? A £20,000 lay? Behave yourself. I want to see that jockey sweating over the line. Why don't you take the train? Oh, what, and miss out on this excellent badinage? You know, I'm not going to go into the races. Oh, yeah, just, uh, yeah that, that's part of the deal. No, it's not. No, it is part of the deal. Well, I want it part of the deal. You always enjoyed a little flutter. It became a problem. Ah, oh, really? Oh, it looks like I taught you more than just medicine. There, Fiver has it. What? Fiver has it that you make a bet by the end of the day. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice trick, Kester. <laughs> okay, well, what if I set off running from here? How, how, how long will that take? About 20 minutes. I should have just gone straight there this morning. I should have just gone and told her how I felt. You are right. Maybe she feels the same way. I should have just said to her, Listen, Annie, I love you. I've always loved you. Not me. I've never got it right with women. Never. What? What? I don't understand. If you love this Annie, what's the problem with marrying her? Well, the main problem is that someone else is marrying her. You're not the groom? No, I'm the best man. <laughs> wait, 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 what, what are you doing? No, God, come on, you can't turn round. We're halfway there now. I'm not being part of breaking up someone's wedding. Oh. I mean, what about the groom? Presumably this man's your best friend. John, yeah, yeah, I've known him since I was six. He's a great bloke. Well, what do you think this John's going to say if you burst into the church, full of his friends and family, on the happiest day of his life, and profess your undying love to his fiancée? But I love her more than he does. How can you possibly know that? This. This is how I know. They wanted to write their own vows, but John couldn't think of what to say. He was having doubts or something, so I wrote them for him. Well, for her. Everyone has doubts. I don't. Not about her. Look, I'm turning round. You can get out here if you like. Please. Just let me read them to you. <sighs> Maybe he's lost. You know what John's like. He's not answering his phone. Is everyone in the church OK? Yeah, for now. Your Uncle Graham's had a skimful. He's about five minutes away from kicking lumps out of anyone on the groom's side. Please, don't let anything happen, Dad. He's laughing at us. Come on, Mouse, we're leaving. No, I think we should wait here for him. 
You what? He'll be here. He wouldn't leave me. Ah, oh, ten minutes and we're going. He's going to kick off any. I don't want you hear when he does. So where are we? It's your shortcut. How are we going to get there by 4.30 now? We're going to miss it! Then we miss it. Miss it? You just remember who owes who here. Just remember, I don't have to look at that boy. I'm doing you a favour. I'm not taking you anywhere until you have a look at the scan. Oh, really? Well, I'm not going to look at the scan until I put a bet on. Do you know what? I can't believe you. You! The man who taught me wouldn't use some sick kid as leverage so he could go and blow his life savings on a horse. It's going to win. I'm going to Spain. You can save up and go to Spain any time you like. You can bet on a horse any time you like. The kid needs your help now. Do you know what that is? It's a Hickman line. What type? Prostate. Aggressive. End stage. How long? Four months. I want to go to Spain, Daniel. What do you think? They're very nice. Please, take me to the church. You don't have to be involved. I don't think we're going to get there anyway. It's five past three. No, but they're not actually married until they've read the vows, so we just have to get there before then. I think it goes hymn, sermon, hymn, vows, register. Isn't it usually hymn, sermon, vows, hymn, register? Is it? Well... There. I must have told at least 200 people they were dying whilst I was working. Kids, wives, and parents. Most people will hear it at some point, but I, I always thought I'd be the one always dishing it out. Who's that? No one. No one? Oh, yes. I had one or two no ones when I was your age. <laughs> Nothing dissolves knicker elastic more than the words, I am a doctor. <laughs> My girlfriend at the time was, well, she hated it, but not as much as the wife. <laughs> There's no point in trying to do good all the time, Daniel. Doing good is troublesome and well, at the end of the day, you get the same wages. And what happens if one day you find you can't do any good anymore? What then? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you. You uh, get some factor 40 and start learning Spanish. <laughs> it's not too late. It is. Now, go and get those uh, scans and then we'll put the bet on. You wouldn't do anything. Don't worry, there was a situation. I mean, your uncle's managed it. Managed it? Look at the place. And where is everyone? Well, them that matter are down the pub, them that don't have gone home. Look, a couple of groomsmen got lippy, got themselves slapped. <sighs> what else could I do? Someone had to take responsibility for him standing you up. He's not stood me up. He'll be here. This was meant to be mine and John's day, and you've ruined it. Well, John's not here, is he? I'm here. Come on, let's have you. No. Sorry? He loves me. He wouldn't leave me here on my own. I'm staying. Annie, behave yourself. Listen to me. He's not coming. We're going now. No! Mouse. Who's your man number one? I love you. You say John loves you, well, where is he? You say this is the man that wants to spend the rest of his life with you. Well, where is he? Yeah, 
have to run more scans, but I'm sure he's going to need surgery. But it is possible. Yes, but not in this country. Where? America, Japan. America's cheaper and it's a higher success rate. How much is the procedure? <laughs> money, money. Will the NHS cover it? No. Right, we've looked at the scans, so let's get a wriggle on. We're never going to get to Cheltenham now, Kester, sorry. Well, don't be. I saw a bookish shop half a mile down the road. The ball's still in play, Daniel. Keep going until you hear the whistle. my whole life trying to save people. But when I needed help, wouldn't even lift a finger. I deserve some luck. I'm due a touch. Don't do it. I'm not going to do it. You are. Why do you think I asked you to come with me? Because I've got a nationwide ban from every bookmaker, every race course in the country. I won't give you the details, because that's where the devil is. Why make this bet? You come back to the surgery, you talk to the consultants, you go and see the boy. There are no more deals. Splendid. I told you you'd make a bet today. <laughs> How is he? Stable. His knee's going to need some work. He hasn't come round yet. And uh, how's Annie? Shaken up. Happy he's alive. Yeah. Morgan, don't. What? That young woman's had a tough enough time without you wading in. Today, it doesn't matter who loves who more. You were right this morning. You said to me I should take a risk and see if it pays off. I didn't say that. Oh, well, that's what you meant. I thought you were the groom. Don't. They've given him something to help him sleep. Have they said anything about his leg? Just that he'll have to put his dreams of five aside glory on hold for a few years. It's crap anyway. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's uh, just a scratch. Are you all right? Mm. My dad left me on my own, Morgan. It's not what dads are supposed to do. They just didn't get it. I couldn't leave. It was never even an option. Annie. I waited in that church for over half an hour because I knew that John wouldn't leave me there. I never doubted it and I never doubted him. Yeah. What were you going to say? I just wanted to read you something. Something I wrote for today. Uh, I'm going to call some Phils, let them know you've agreed to see Aaron. Aaron? Yeah. Mm. Uh, just out of interest, what happens if he doesn't get surgery? Oh, it's hard to predict. His organs will start slowly shutting down and he'll lose control of his bodily functions and there'll be seizures. How quickly? Impossible to say. I'll be back. Still going to call any minute. You can go once you've seen them. I've been thinking I could give some of my winnings to young um, Aaron. Aaron, yes. <laughs> After all, it's unlikely I'll be around to spend it all. It's up to you. Hmm. Oh, the radio. It's 4:30. Ah. See you around to start his orders. I'll just skip to the end. <laughs> uh. But I know that. John and Annie are right for each other because whenever John looks at Annie and he sees her smile, I see a look in his eyes. It says, I cannot believe how beautiful you are. I cannot believe how lucky I am. 
Dear God, please don't let me mess this up. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd raise your glasses, the bride and groom. There were loads more funny bits in the middle. Thank you, Morgan. And they're off and running. And it's Brave New Day by Beast and Boy. Lobster Mobster in three, but it's Brave New Day. Four, five links clear as they come round for the second time. Oh, I was... I was going to give you these. It's the vowels. I, I was just hanging on to them for John. did write beautifully. Brave new day, one link's clear as they turn into the final furlong with one jump to go. And it's going to be a straight dice game between Lobster Mobster and the Brave new day as they approach the final fence. Come on, jump! Jump! Brave New Day has clipped the fence and then neck and neck now as they enter the final furlong. Lobster Mobster's got all the running as they jostle for position. There's nothing between these two as they sprint for the line and it's Lobster Mobster who'll take it by head. Brave New Day second, Beast and Boy third. It is, yeah. Okay, it's the hospital. They want to thank you for agreeing to help Aaron. No one's ever cared for me where I should I care for someone I've never even met. I'm dying. I'm dying. Today is the first time anyone has needed me for ten years. And you're right. <laughs> this was a chance. This was my chance to make up for all the mess I've made. Well, say something. I didn't put the bet on. What? I didn't put the bet on. Never bet on a favor of this drifting out. <laughs> <laughs> that could have gone so wrong for you. Yeah, but like I said, not my first time in the bookies. Price was drifting, never gonna win. I can't believe it. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. He's gonna go to the state. I'm gonna do it. He's going. No messing around. Mm. <laughs> Do you want to lift anywhere? No, I've had enough of covers for one day. Are you going to be all right? Yeah, I'll be fine. Good to have it done. I guess sometimes it's better not to be honest and save yourself the embarrassment. How did you injure your hand? Trapped it in a car door. I'll be in touch after the new CT scans. I look forward to it. You've done well. Thanks. Oh, uh, you owe me a fiver. What for? I didn't put a bet on. Oh. <laughs> nice trick. Thank you. You know, we're the same, you and me. Gambling, women, sense of humor.
Hi, is that Tracy? Hi there, it's uh, Daniel from the other night. Dr. Daniel, yeah. Uh, listen, the reason I'm calling is because I wanted to say I had a great time the other night. But I want to be honest with you. Um, I had a great time, but I'd like to leave it there. That's not how guests behave. Then, you have a visitor. It's your mum. Mum? It's her mom. Thank you, Heston. Whatever I said, I'll gladly take the credit for it. She's upset. Why didn't you answer her calls? Why don't you visit her more often? 